Two undefeated teams in conference play. Only one can be the champion. Find out who I think will cover the spread in Saturday's AAC championship game between SMU and Tulane as we've got two trends to talk about today that add up to a perfect 14-0. What's going on, everybody? I'm Brian Power, and let's get going with this preview for the AAC championship game. And we start with SMU. The good news is the Mustangs are coming off a 59-14 beatdown of Navy in the regular season finale. That gave them a perfect 8-0 straight-up record in conference play and a 10-2 straight-up record overall. Their only losses this year to Oklahoma and TCU. Against Navy, the Ponies piled it on early, jumping out to a 52-14 halftime lead. That was their third 40-plus point half this season. So normally, this would be the point where I'd read through a bunch of of impressive offensive statistics. But now to the bad news. Quarterback Preston Stone broke his leg against Navy, and he is out for the AAC championship game. Huge blow to SMU, who's now up to a five-and-a-half point underdog against Tulane on Saturday as we look at the WagerTalk.com live odds screen. The loss of Stone, again, just cannot be understated. He threw for basically 3,200 yards during the regular season with a 28-6 to touchdown interception ratio. The result was SMU having the number five scoring offense in the entire country. And making matters worse for the Mustangs is the fact they're on an 0-8 straight up and 1-7 ATS run as underdogs. And the favorite has won the last six AAC championship games. So there are your two trends that add up to a perfect 14-0. Therefore, you've got to want to lay the points with Tulane here, right? After all... The Green Wave are the reigning AAC champs. They beat USC in last year's Cotton Bowl. And the only loss for the Green Wave in 2023 came against Ole Miss when quarterback Michael Pratt was out. But not so fast, my friend, I say. Despite losing just that one game, I'm going to go on record and say this edition of the Green Wave is not as strong as last year. They've struggled to win by margin. At one point, they won four straight games, all by seven points or less. Even in the regular season finale versus UTSA, which was a 29-16 to 16 final, pardon me. Tulane was outgained. They won that game thanks to forcing five turnovers and two stops inside the 10-yard line. Uh, UTSA, no points on those two drives. I'm hearing good things out of the SMU camp about backup quarterback Kevin Jennings, and he can always hand the ball off uh, thanks to an excellent offensive line for the Mustangs, which has paved the way for three different backs averaging 5.2 yards or more per carry. I know favorites have dominated the AAC title game. We talked about it, six straight wins. And SMU has stunk as a dog in the past. 0-8, straight up, 1-7 ATS. But this is now, not the past. My power rating suggests the odds makers have completely overreacted to the Stone injury, as has the betting public. If Stone were playing, I would have the Mustangs favored in this game, even with it taking place at Tulane. So SMU plus five and a half is my call for the AAC championship game. For more winning selections, head on over to my page right now, wt.buzz backslash bp, where you can save $15 off a three-day all-access pass by using the coupon code 15OFF3 at checkout. That's 15OFF3. A three-day all-access, just as a reminder, or if you're unfamiliar, gets you every sport, Every player released for three days. NFL, 73% the last two weeks. NBA, I have the number one re record uh, at Wager Talk this season in pro hoops. Soccer, number one in ROI this season. College hoops, up 55 units since last January. And of course, college football, I was 4-1 and one last Saturday, 67% last year in the Bulls. Once again, that coupon code is 15OFF3, 15OFF3. And that gets you $15 off, three-day all-access pass, normally priced at $69. You can also find me on X, formerly Twitter, at BrianPower underscore wins. If you're looking for more conference championship previews, including the one I did on the Pac-12 between Washington and Oregon, just go ahead and click on this next video.